back to the Mr. Excel podcast. Boy, in yesterday's episode, I promised that today would be simpler. It's not much better than what we had. I'm sorry to do this to you on a Friday. Today, though, I have a data set that someone sent me, and they were trying to be clever and make it look nice. They took the account number and account name and put it once above each group of records. Well, now this might look really good and might impress the manager. It's impossible to deal with if I want to do a pivot table or any kind of a anything. I really need that account number and the customer name on every single record. All right, so my strategy for dealing with this is I'm going to insert a new column. And what's unique about those headings? Those headings all start with the letters ACCT. And so basically, we need to look over into column B and say, if it starts with ACCT, we know that we have a new customer and we're going to pull that information over. If it's anything else, we're just going to use the row above us. All right, so here's the basic formula. We say equal if left of B2 comma 4 equals ACCT in quotes. Then we're going to pull that information over. We're going to put B2 here. Otherwise, we're going to use the cell immediately above us, which presumably is the customer that we found before. Enter that formula, and I'll make it wide enough so we can see what's going on. Copy this down, and you see what happens. We get our customer information on every row for the first customer, and then when we get to the second customer, things change. Now, really what we want here is we want account number in one column and customer in another column. Let's take a look at the formulas to set that up. Basically, we're saying if the left is equal to account, then we're going to take the mid of C2 starting at position 12, because I always have a five-digit account number for a length of 50, make sure I get the entire customer number, and then trim that to get rid of the leading spaces and trailing spaces. And then the account number is simpler. Once we see the account, we're going to take the middle character starting at position six for a length of five to get the account number. Copy those down. We want to change from formulas to values, so we'll paste special values. And then basically, we can go through and sort this data by date. You'll notice that there is nothing in the date column for those headings. So those will all go down to the bottom. We can delete them, and we end up with a really nice data set with account number in A customer number in B, and then the other data, and it'll work. Hey, there you have it. We'll see you on Monday for another podcast from Mr. Excel.